I have also closed all of the other programs that were running. Why are you running all these programs, man? Because I, I have, I'm a very important person. <laughs> got a lot of programs to run. I got a lot of programs to run. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think of myself as my own personal mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thanks, Tactic Angel. Everyone and welcome back to the Wednesday Night Gentlemen Multimedia Empire official podcast. This is episode number 66. On this show, we like to talk about things like comic books, movies, TV shows, video games, political discourse, sometimes, but always, always Star Trek. I am your host, Tactic Angel, and with me is Midget Radio, my murderous socialist friend. Hello. Hi, Midget Radio. How are you today? I'm doing well. Tactic Angel, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Just fine. That's wonderful. I got a text message from you that makes me think that I know what's happening in your life today. (laughs) Yeah, I think you do. Um, I got a glass of the wild turkey rare breed in front of me. Me too. That's exciting. Wow, we're drinking the same thing. That never happens, really. <laughs> Almost never. This might be the second time in yeah, 66 episodes. I think so, wow. So about 3% overlap. Uh, good times. Good times. Have you already taken a sip? I haven't, actually. I will do that now. Okay. This is like a reaction video. A little bit. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not the bullet. <laughs> can you taste wow. the alcohol? In? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's quite apparent. <laughs> wow, yeah. Hmm. At 116.8 proof. Oh boy, you got to bring that to your lips pretty carefully. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um it it does singe your nose hairs a little, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it on my fucking beard, man. <laughs> man. But, but, how's the flavor? It's, you know, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not You're, bad. Trust me, by the end of this episode, it's going to grow on you. I'm sure it will. I left the bottle in the kitchen for that reason. So, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fine. I got uh, plenty. So many- I got plenty. Good. Okay. You didn't pour just like, <laughs> I'm going to take one finger. Can I have one? Yeah, one finger. Yeah. One finger, what six asshole. ice cubes. <laughs> what sad son of a bitch. <laughs> Some uh, we alcoholic. might need that uh, because we are talking about the Immortal Iron Fist Season 2. This is our oh, part God. two review encompassing the entire series, but mostly the last four episodes. Uh, the Immortal Iron Fist is a thing I have already described in the last episode. Uh, go listen to it. <laughs> What an Ninja Radio. All right. I think that was an apt description. It was. It was. It was. Uh, we left off. You were uh, in the I hate it. Yeah. I just hate it. Yeah. I hate everything and this yep. slightly more than everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How is that going for you? Uh, well, um, I, I think I'm still pretty much roughly in, in the same place. Um, I was going to ask you. Since we've shit uh, more than once on the 13 episode count of uh, Netflix series, and this one clocks in at 10, <laughs> how, uh, was that an improvement? Um, or helped? helped. <laughs> Could have gone down to eight, but helped. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah. I don't know. Um, the- I'm glad it wasn't 13 episodes. I can say that for sure. Uh, I I can't say when we when we look at something like Luke Cage or Jessica Jones or the last season of Iron Fist that you can't say that substantively more stuff happened in 13 episodes yeah. than happened in the 10 here. Yeah. Except for a lot of just miserable dialogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love good dialogue. And that's why this stuff is miserable. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Um, I don't even know. I don't know where to start um, on this. Uh, 
I guess we don't want to do spoilers here in the first half, but um, I mean, I didn't really notice any marked improvement. From, there, there's, I, I don't know, man. I guess like it's unique in the sense that I didn't feel like it shifted dramatically in the middle of the series um, and went, you know, immediately downhill. It just kind of stayed downhill uh, <laughs> the whole time. So I guess there's that. That makes it unique from the other <laughs> Netflix okay. series. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, everyone still sucks and everyone is still annoying. You know, that's it. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Meh. I still like Ward. Well, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, um, mm, I like Ward, yep. Yeah, <laughs> Ward is still like a fun actually enjoyable character um he gets he gets kicked in the junk a lot in the last four episodes here but yeah he does he actually does take it pretty well he does he does and some of that was like a little annoying too um but i mean yeah it it is it is weird because i feel like some of the stuff that developed with wards uh in wards life in this series was like pretty it was just like cheap drama it's exactly the kind of writing i would expect from this show but what was in, maybe what was interesting about it was that his reactions to it um, actually felt, you know, human and kind of relatable, which I, I wouldn't have expected um, from from the writing in this show. So that's something. OK, <laughs> um, I'm trying, man. <laughs> I still like Colleen. I still like yeah. Misty. Yeah. Uh, I would say overall, my opinion of all of the characters has basically re remained the same in the last four episodes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd say about the same. Um, things things I noted uh, while watching. Uh, I'm not sure that there is any music in this. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's probably true. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't think of anything um, at all. Yeah, I guess it's just a completely scoreless <laughs> show. <laughs> so at the be at the beginning, though, with some training stuff, you did see like there was actual fighting music, and it was mostly yeah. like they were you know pump up the boombox nonsense yeah. Yeah. while they're you know working out. And you don't really get that towards the end. Yeah. Um, probably because it, it kind of gets serious. Um, it gets a lot more serious than I expected it to. Yeah. And um, it actually it actually doesn't really walk back from that because a lot of times, like when we watch an action movie and we love action movies, uh, somebody will get winged by a bullet or they'll just like get hit by a truck, either literally or you know, hype or prefer proverbially. And then <laughs> like they kind of have a moment where it's just like, Oh man, that really hurt. And then like, they're just fine yeah. after that. Yeah. They're just fine. Um, that doesn't really happen a lot in this. Um, actually there's a little bit of weight to the, the injury. Yeah. Sustained a little bit. Yeah. And that actually helps drive more of the screen time towards characters that we actually kind of like. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe it's safe to say that like the showrunners figured out that people don't like Danny Rand. <laughs> and so they had him share a lot of screen time with uh, other characters that we do actually like. Well, let let's try not to to take it to that level <laughs> if you look if you look at captain america the first avenger and then you look at captain america the winter soldier now there yeah. are a number of reasons why captain america the first avenger doesn't work but the winter soldier does yeah but in spite of how compelling a character and how much you and I are biased towards just <laughs> loving Captain America yeah. and particularly Chris Evans' portrayal of him, the fact that he has an entourage 
helps that movie dramatically. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Now it doesn't save it from like the what at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you've got you've got uh you know Falcon and you've got um Black Widow. Scarlet Witch. Maybe. Not Scarlet Witch, but Black uh, Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> they're they're running around and they they all have good chemistry with one another. Um it's just good. Yeah. It's just good. Yeah. Um, so in trying to make a TV show, if you make a TV show, that's just about one guy, particularly <laughs> one guy who's emotionally stunted. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, it's not that it's impossible. I'm sure it's just that <laughs> you'd have to be really, really good. Yeah. And at that point, you're probably not writing a Kung Fu TV series. No. You're probably, you're probably like a real director. Yeah. A real writer. <laughs> a real something job. like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it just kind of comes with the territory that you're not going to get it here. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a smart decision to kind of spread the load out onto other uh structural members yeah. in the in the actual TV show. So yeah. you know. Pushing some of the plot onto Colleen, pushing it onto Ward, push it onto Misty. Yeah. These are good things. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's just a garbage plot. <laughs> I just feel like they more evenly distributed the shit writing. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to I want to say that the quality of the plot and kind of the the overall vibe that I get from this is I mean, it's still silly. Yeah. And I think that's still the best word to describe it. <laughs> it's just silly. Yeah. But yeah. but they do circle back, and we're going to have to get into spoilers before we can talk about yeah. some of the circling back. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be hard to talk about it without getting into uh, spoilers too much. Um, Midget Radio, then let's give us some stars so we can just get this out of the way. Okay. Um, I'm probably, God damn it. Uh. <laughs> like I'm, it's I'm, not like, I know. it's not like you have a limited number of stars. I know every star you give this but... is like one you can't give to something in the future that deserves it more. But God damn it. Like there are things about the last 15 minutes of this series that are just, they're so stupid that I kind of liked them. Um, <laughs> the, den, the the denouement or it, the, yeah. the denouement yeah the was, denouement may was, have been worth half a star so was crazy long it was it i was paused it and i was so like stupid. i have 15 minutes left i thought <laughs> three at best i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be nicer to iron fist i'm gonna give it two stars now because of the last okay. 15 minutes of this show. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> if I kind of look at this versus the, the rest of kind of the garbage that's been coming out <sighs> that, that isn't Daredevil or the Punisher. Yeah. I think this is still, I mean, it's intensely silly. <laughs> but it didn't bother me as much as, as a lot of other shows by the end of it. Um, but I mean, I'm with you. It's still not good. Yeah. Um, I am probably going to give it the absolutely torrid zone, uh, <laughs> score of two and a half. Okay. <laughs> Tactic Angel has, uh, not a lot of strong feelings for this show, uh, though I do have several strong opinions about it. <laughs> God. I, I mean, I still overall just hate it. Um, I it, I, I did. spoilers There's yeah spoilers. spoilers spoiler tag all right spoiler tag we have to say it otherwise we do. The, the text can't appear well on that's the that's how i know where to put the text so <laughs> it's very helpful um, well, that doesn't happen by magic <laughs> um i i just i can't i i hate how lazy so much of the writing in this series is and like that's what like 
that's the difference to me. Like, so the 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 writing in series in a series like Cage or Jessica Jones, a lot of times it's it just pisses me off because it's like it's stupid, um, or it's bad, or it doesn't or it doesn't make sense. Um, it's a lot of that, but it's not like it's not as just extraordinarily cheap as I find this show. Um, examples of which would be. Um, you know, her medical records are sitting on the fucking, uh, bookshelf. That's how we find out that she has DID. Um, it, it, it just, this convenient, like, and, and the stuff that doesn't make sense, like the dialogue that doesn't make sense. I, I should have, fuck, I, I was trying to keep a count and I lost count of how many times a character said, we're running out of time or there's no time. We have to hurry because there's no time. Like. It, and, and it becomes just it, it just gets grating uh, after a while. And in and in certain places, it doesn't even make fucking sense. Like They just give them these cliched, stupid phrases um, that don't even make sense in in the context of the scene. For example, uh, the the scene between Danny and Co- and Colleen. So they try to uh, they try to fucking do the magic transfer of the dragon energy, right? With Davos. Uh-huh. And they have uh-huh. him, they have him like handcuffed <laughs> and that's it. So I'm not even going to address that. Like he's only handcuffed and that's all he is. He's not like also tied up and fucking, they're just counting on the fact that he's going to remain take- unconscious. Right. Fine. I don't even want to address that. Um, Cause of course he gets away. But so, so, <laughs> so he wakes up, um, and they they only complete like half of the transfer or something. I don't fucking know. And so they spend the rest of the series like trying to touch each other's fucking forehead. Basically, <laughs> that's I mean, that's what's going on. So fine. Um, but because they were only able to complete half the transfer, um, Colleen's like all fucked up. And I guess Davos is too. Like they're both sick and like you can't have half a transfer because half a transfer is yeah. like really bad. Whatever. Well, it's. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's different because like the, the power of Shaolau is so much greater than any other oh, force. God damn it. No, it isn't. In all of but, comic books. You like, can, you can it, split the Phoenix into five people apparently. Yeah. And, that's and, okay. and like the, the Phoenix is, the Phoenix is weak sauce, the Phoenix right? Is fucking so you awesome. can, you can <laughs> spread that. You can have like five people running around in their they're tight red <laughs> g-strings oh and man that's fine oh phoenix iliana yeah um but so but so okay so fine so davos davos manages to get out of the apartment um and and danny's like going over to colleen to make sure that she's okay and he's like he's like hey i'm gonna go you stay here because you're fucked up i'm gonna go get davos and colleen is like there's no time uh, I guess I have to, like I have to go with you, and it's like, what is that? What the fuck? God damn it! Like that, it doesn't make sense. Like it's just stupid. It's just it's like the fifth time someone has said there's no time, but it's like, what do you mean there's no time? What do you mean there's no time? You have to go with. How does that save time? What are you fucking taught? It's just a it's just a mindless, lazy cliche that they inserted into her mouth. Because that's what a character has to say so that the audience knows <laughs> that what is happening is like really important uh, and is really dramatic. It's the fucking it's the fucking time bomb in The Dark Knight Rises. It's just lazy, lazy fucking writing. <laughs> and it doesn't and it doesn't make sense. I just I hate it. That is indicative of how of how so much of this show is written i think it's just cliche after fucking cliche um and that's why so, you have ward dealing with a pregnancy i mean it's just god damn yeah, it it's like out I, of the writer's handbook of easy dramatic situations <laughs> to create I, I want to i want to <laughs> ask you a question and this has to do with ward and the writing okay <laughs> so at some point we cut to ward ward is in the flower shop and he says something like, you know, I need something that says I'm sorry uh, for knocking you up <laughs> and that I fell off the wagon in front of you. Yeah. You choose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like, I thought that line was so absolutely 
hilarious yeah. that I had to go back and watch it again. <laughs> and I think, like, is that a terrible line? And also, did the actor do a bad job selling it? Because I feel strongly for one of those answers. Oh, uh... No, I mean, I don't find any, like, I don't find any of that too terrible. Um, and I like Ward, and I like that actor. So, I, I mean, I, I, is it a bad line? I didn't feel one way or the other about it, really. Okay. I think I think he delivered it just, it was just so deadpan. Yeah. And he's, he just... Hates himself so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he just says the words and it's just like, I'm going to just like dump my problems at the feet of this yeah. minimum wage worker and be like, I need something that solves this. Yeah. In the in the way of flowers. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's Ward. I mean, he is the only decent thing about the entire show, really. Um, the only like. You're really, you're going to back off of Misty and Colleen? Well, Misty and Colleen are great in their own right, but there's nothing in this show that that like, I mean, they're just you just like them, but they're not doing anything in this show other than serving a stupid plot line. That's really all. Yeah. God. Ward at least has like, I'm a character and I have to deal with shit and deal with the consequences of my actions, you know, like a human does. Um which is nice. I mean, some of those consequences, I think, are a little stupid. The pregnancy thing, I thought, was kind of dumb. Because it's just another, like, oh, of course, this is another it's dramatic it's thing. Oh, okay, just keep piling on. And <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I like the when it rains, it pours thing. And and I, I like his his uh, attempt at the end to, to kind of come clean. I was a little bit annoyed that the woman didn't say, oh, Ward, I love you forever. Because it's like, he's... <laughs> he's he's the only he's the only thing that's going well for this uh for this series yeah and it's just like i just want him to be happy well just yeah a little bit. you want to win yeah i wanted i wanted him to, to get a win yeah for sure i w- i will mention one thing that also helped me um like ward even more and like this show slightly more okay when ward falls off of the wagon He's drinking in that hole in the wall, right? Yeah. Did you catch what whiskey he was drinking? Ooh, no, I didn't. He was drinking McKenna. Oh, nice. <laughs> he had a little and McKenna I, in him. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and and like naturally that made me smile and think of and think of uh Counselor McKenna. Yeah. That's pretty that great. Made, that made me happy. That's pretty great. I'm going to have to get a bottle of that. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's very good. <laughs> still, though. Still. I, it's. I mean, it's it's not bad. It is. It is very strong abrasive. It's 100 proof. And um, it it tastes more harsh than what you're drinking yeah. right now. Wow, really? <laughs> okay. It, it don't, well, you know, like if you drink if you drink Jack Daniels, in a lot of ways Jack Daniels tastes more harsh than yeah. what you're drinking right now. Yeah. And it's just because it's bad. Yeah. This is crap. Yeah. Um what you're drinking right now should taste very harsh, but it I mean it's just yeah. full of flavor. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's like I can taste I can chase the burning forests yep. in my mouth. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, mm-hmm. What else happened in this show? Uh, there were some more kung fu fighting scenes. There was kung fu fighting. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of really impressive things. No. I kind of had thought at the beginning, you know what's going to happen is that that Danny. Is gonna have to fight Davos, and they're both gonna have the hand, and they're gonna punch each other's hand <laughs> just perfectly. Yeah, and that didn't exactly happen. No, <laughs> but it definitely did. So that happen. was I was surprised that they did actually commit to giving Colleen the fucking Iron Fist power. Um, yeah, 
I was a little surprised by that. I didn't expect that they'd actually like let her keep it. Um, and God knows how long that'll last. But uh, that was at least an interesting choice. <laughs> well, it seems to me that they don't need to necessarily give it back because Danny apparently still has it. So, <laughs> I mean, this is just like, it's just, I, I don't know. The end of the, the end of this series, like it was, the denouement. it was so much like, it was so much dumber than I thought it was going to be. Um, they pulled so much shit out of left field, uh, that it, I mean, I kind of liked it a little bit. Um, like it reminded me, there's like a Japanese movie called Dead or Alive, I think, by Takashi Miike. It's basically about these two Yakuza guys, or maybe one's a cop. I don't remember. And ba- it's like a chase. I mean, it's a super it's kind violent of a big movie. difference. I know, but that, all that matters is that they're against each other, um, and like they're chasing each other, and it's a big fight. The whole movie is basically like this. It's like super violent, and but it's pretty like. You know, it's basically just a really violent Japanese action movie. Um, but at the end of the movie, like, there's a car chase, um, and they both wreck their cars. Uh, and at the very end of the film, like, they're, you know, they're fucking, like, stumbling out of their vehicles. And the one guy um, reaches behind him and pulls out a bazooka. <laughs> and he aims it at the other guy who forms a ball of magic energy. Um, and they shoot the magic energy ball and the bazooka at the same time. And these two things hit and they blow up and they destroy the entirety of Japan. Uh, And that's the end of the movie. And I thought of that when I watched the end of this because because it was a fantastic ending um, that came out of nowhere, uh, as did so much of the things in in this series. Um, So Danny and like Ward, right, are in Japan um, yeah. and they are looking for something <laughs> having to so, do with like the no pi- wait okay wait a second because <laughs> you almost have to take back some of your this is so dumb who sent the package oh that's true that is true is, they did actually exactly, address that yeah I did that's appreciate exactly that exactly what they're doing <laughs> and since since now that's going to be the the plot of season three of yeah. Iron Fist, you can hardly complain about it. <laughs> I can't. Can't at all. You're like, uh, but you know it what was, I want? I it, want them to go try to find that mail courier. That's exactly what I want them to do. Because he's the fucking baddest ass guy in the world, apparently. Um, but yeah. Uh, so they're looking for that dude, I guess. I guess he's in Japan, which seems weird. No, they're, they're, following, they're following leads. And they're trying to find... The whoever the took boss them was to Japan, to, yeah, because they said they they went to like Hong Kong and then they went to like okay some other place and then they went to some other place and they stole something and they're like okay. ah my boss lost a thing there and he's like yeah he did yeah oh because like, they gonna, they took it we took it I'm gonna kill you yeah. with this g- giant man yeah yeah he was a big dude. He, yeah, um, I'm, he probably had a box, but also he looked like he was big before. <laughs> and then, like, the other Japanese guy pulls out a gun and tries to shoot Danny or whatever, right? Yes. <laughs> and he uses the power of the dragon. Danny is strapped for some reason. Um, and so he pulls out two guns and they glow yellow and he shoots the bullets. <laughs> and the bullets... The bullets from Danny's gun destroy the bullet from the Japanese guy's gun. Um, credits and <laughs> but but we've already seen we've already seen at this point. Colleen's got you know the, yeah. the fist too. Yeah, and she's got a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, turns her katana into lightsaber. Yeah. So this all makes so, a lot of sense. I mean. I sort of love it because it's just absolutely ridiculous and it and it and it fucking doesn't make even just the least bit of sense. Um, if I but... had the power <laughs> of the dragon, that would be a game changer. Mm-hmm. Particularly if I can use a gun with it. Well, then your whiskey glasses would glow too. <laughs> right? Amazing. But. <laughs> 
It's a uh, that was a uh, I don't know, man. It didn't make any fucking sense. It was so goddamn ri- ridiculous that I sort of appreciated it at least for that. Um, but, but it's so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't want to deal with like a gun wielding Danny Rand. Um, I don't. He really did have. Want to he did seem a little bit more worldly by the time they got there. So I'm not sure how much time was supposed to have passed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's pretty unclear. Because, well, I mean, he seemed to have a little bit of swagger. Yeah, um, that his wide-eyed optimism, <laughs> which also was stupid. Yeah. Um, I mean, he he wasn't emoting that no and that's pretty much the most annoying part of his character which is almost all of it yeah yeah i was a little bit i was a little bit like i know one of the things i said i wanted to see was that colleen and danny would not have some fucking ridiculous emotional break um they apparently did have some sort of break yeah i guess but i'm not sure if they're not together or together, I don't I'm not understand sure. it either. I don't understand it either. I thought they broke up in like episode six or seven, where yeah. it's like, I'm either gonna be your censor or the the hot Asian chick that you're boning. <laughs> your censor, <I> can't. <laughs> sensei, <laughs> sensei. Yeah, yeah, it's one or the other, and and it's like can't be hot for teacher. In yeah this one but then like then they're just like eating it's like don't call me sensei yeah i don't so, know yeah i don't know <laughs> but we're still together and i sure. still have to write you a breakup letter at the end of the yeah because i gotta go do the thing i gotta go look for the person and god yeah. i hate this show like but i so i like i don't know i i feel like the same as so I like the kung fu magic crap in the first half of this season, and I like the stupid pirate queen of whatever uh, defeats kung fu master <laughs> legacy. Uh, I guess that is maybe like Colleen's ancestor. Like it's just ridiculous, but I like it. You know, I like that story. I like it. Um, I like that there's like a legend, and it's whatever. <laughs> It's much more interesting to me than I should have had the Iron Fist. That was for me and you took it. So I take it from you. I did think it was sort of interesting that they didn't. Like, I liked that Davos just gets carted off at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of enjoyed that. It's like there's actually a principle there where it's like I'm. I'm not your enemy or I don't want to be your enemy. Yeah. But Davos is like, no, we're fucking enemies. Yeah. We have to be enemies because of things. Uh huh. Yeah. What would, what would my mother call you if she could see you now? I don't, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Davos, maybe let it go. You're like 30. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's move on. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so anyway god what a t- it's just a terrible villain a fucking boring ass villain that drove this entire series and ugh, like i was happy gotta, that joy and ward got, kind of made up but i was mostly just happy for ward <laughs> like, yeah he gets you know he gets one yeah uh, one win out of this yeah. so s- speaking of um what do you like about where they left Ward and what do you hate about where they left <laughs> left Ward? I don't even I don't know. I'm not sure what to say about that only because like I thought, "Oh, it's great that Ward went with Danny because that means Ward is around." Uh so that's wonderful. Um and past that, I don't know. I guess I don't have an opinion cuz whatever. I mean, it's a little weird that, like, he decides to take off, you know, because he goes up to what his sponsor that he banged and then he impregnated. And he's like, I want to be the daddy. She's like, I don't know, man. Fuck you a little bit. Um, you can't. Yeah. I, 
I pre- I predict a much more lucrative windfall in the <laughs> child support courts. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um so, you know, you would expect, I guess, with that that maybe you'd want to like stick around and like try to be a dad, you know. Um but he's like, "Nah, fuck it. I'm going to look for this like this no, fucking kinda, post office worker and I think I think like if what Danny's trying to do is find himself, right? Sure. And find out find <laughs> out where he fits into this weird mythology that that they're starting to explore. Yeah. And that Ward just had a di- or a monologue really where he's like, "I don't know myself. I've defined my person by my relationships with other people and yeah. I have none of that anymore." Yeah. So, who am I? Yeah. Like to go on some sort of spiritual journey might might be interesting for the character. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, really really terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but if the actor can carry it, yeah. Then... <laughs> well, he makes these things tolerable at least. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's a plus. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could, you know, it has potential, Tactic Angel. <laughs> has potential (laughs) well well one thing that we we saw with this series that we haven't seen with most of the other series is that our scores actually improved by the end of the season oh yeah that is true i mean it did start in the fucking gutter but yeah (laughs) well and and they also started from a, a position where we have a, a decent amount of resentment yeah for um what happened in iron fist season one and the yeah. defenders which i think was uh kind of ruined by the danny randy and stuff yeah he was really irritating in that series <laughs> gotta destroy the hand other than I know. other than some of his like conversations with Luke Cage because for some reason I think those two worked pretty well together I his his presence in that show was oh. just 100% annoying yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so, so yeah I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> I kind of, I, so I was trying to like pay attention to what was happening because I'm trying to like read the tea leaves for this, this show. Yeah. Because apparently none of these shows can ever be canceled. No shit. But like, are they intending for like, Danny Rand to not be the main character for season three. I don't know. That would be wonderful. Um, and we get Colleen and Misty and the daughters because, of the dragon. That would be, that's what I would like to see. Um, because Colleen and Misty, right? Yeah. They're still around. I mean, and, I would like to see a different showrunner and uh, writing, writing staff on it, but... <laughs> And really, Colleen does most of the heavy lifting when it comes to fight scenes in this. Yeah. Because Danny has a remarkably small role when it comes to kung fu. Yeah. He, like, he kung fus a few people. Yeah. Uh, he he hits a truck at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I think he kicked Davos at some point in the last episode. Probably. And he pretty much got his ass kicked in the middle of it. Yeah. But other than that, it's like... He didn't really have a lot of complex choreography. He certainly didn't walk down a hallway and throw a microwave at anybody. No shit, man. I need to go back and watch that. I that... know, dude. Season one and two, I want to watch that. Both of those again. Like huh. that that specific fight yeah. is there's a reason why they tried to replicate it in yeah. season two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the moment. I, mean, I remember that because that was the moment where I was like, man, this show is like pretty good. Like all up until that scene. I was like, God, this show is actually surprisingly pretty good so far. And then you watch that scene and it's like, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I have watched this? entire kung fu <laughs> movies with actual stars that weren't this entertaining. 
Yeah, that was kind of the holy fuck. How did they make we're just gonna this? Have, we're just going to have the camera go up the hallway and back down the hallway. Oh, just amazing. Just and everything's going to happen around it. Yeah. And, and like, that that was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot say enough nice things about that. I know. I know. And it's so great. And like, that show is so good that it managed to do, like, what you hate in every sequel, which is try to replicate the the thing that was so cool about the first one. Um, but it's like, even that, they still took that, like, let's do a single take. And they still did, like, they still added a little bit to it. It was still cool. They, they It didn't... It, it didn't feel so completely cheap because I loved the fucking chain. See, like, let me get the chain. And as I just walk under each fucking head, under each light, destroy every single lamp with to fucking make it. Do- like, it's just it just looks awesome. I'm like, fuck, yeah, Daredevil. <laughs> like, yeah, such a badass. God damn. I mean, it's- like- <laughs> the only thing that makes that not work as much is that you know what they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's and, it. And that they they don't get all the way there to just the the beautiful simplicity of the Yeah, first and yeah, I mean you can't. Yeah, you can't really replicate it. It's just impossible cuz you're cuz yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a good show. What a god just <laughs> I am feeling a little bit worried about season 3. Of Daredevil? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You know. I got a lot of apprehension. I, yeah. I mean, I, I get it, but it's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Cause I love season two so much, um, that like way more than I, than I expected to, to, to love it. Um, but a lot of that's John Bernthal jumping in with just, sure. uh, but a I, mind-blowing punish. I mean, I don't know how you underestimate the amount of appeal that Electra has for me. Um, I don't know how you continue to do that. But they just took that character um, and hit a fucking grand slam. Like, she's wonderful. Um, I'm kind of hoping we see Fisk in season three. Again. I think we. I, I did see a, a, a thing about that, and it sounds like or at least they made reference to like a more calculated Fisk maybe in season three. So um, that would that would seem to indicate that he will be in it, which would be great because D'Onofrio just kills it, man. <laughs> kind of effortlessly. God, on that, I mean, that is what Daredevil has that like literally every other show uh, lacks, um, including the Punisher, which is just I mean, a supporting a, a supporting cast that just fucking hell i mean if you consider the punisher <laughs> a supporting character in daredevil season two my god well john bernthal Elodie young and um i think Vincent I, I, my god i'm pretty sure other than star trek continues that um the punisher got pretty much just just heaps of praise yeah from us yeah for uh just being entertaining start to finish yeah. not being fucking weird yeah um the the performance particularly by bernthal who that was, actually does do most of the the heavy lifting he really does that. yeah him and micro but it really is like man it's really like fucking 80 percent bernthal <laughs> like, jesus well when you get into the the thing and he just starts screaming at people yeah. like an animal it, yeah it's just like i yeah, kind of love this. You are a fucking animal. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I think he's getting a little bit of adrenaline. <laughs> a little bit of adrenaline rush here. Like, really? <laughs> I would almost kind of like to see a scene between the Punisher and Iron Fist. Just because I, I don't know what the dynamic would be. <laughs> Well, I I continue to support the scene that I proposed last episode. (laughs) Oh, man. Defenders part two. (laughs) Defenders walk in. Punisher's taking care of it. Yep. Boom. Bye. (laughs) Danny's like, you shouldn't have killed those people. It's like, oh, well, yeah, I'll think about it. (laughs) Maybe he shoots Danny. That'd be all right. (laughs) Of course, now it'll be Colleen. Yeah. 
Man, I don't know what they were doing with her costume at the end of that series, but like the fucking windbreaker, right? She had a windbreaker and like pigtails, windbra- yeah, right? It was weird. It was like a tracksuit. It was like, are you in the mafia? Like, this is a weird look for you. <laughs> are you supposed to be? <laughs> I don't think they I don't, I don't know. quite figured that one out. But um... So during the day, I'm a K-pop star. Yeah. And in the evenings, <laughs> I fight crime. God, that probably is a superhero. <laughs> They have not been imported. Nope, not yet. <laughs> They'll get here eventually. I bet actually there's probably several there, of them. I'm sure there are. <laughs> Basically, Korea has to have some sort of superhero culture, right? Totally, totally. It's like a Korean We've... Hannah Montana, probably somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't really want there to be a season three of this show. As stupid as that ending was, uh, I'm just, man, they're not going to do uh, a good job. <laughs> I suggest that they get whoever wrote the last five episodes of J- John Claude Van Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just have fun. That was a great series, man. That was a really good series. It was not like this series and somehow this series will probably get another season amazon's stupid amazon is stupid i don't understand them god iron fist i don't know. i'm trying to think. so yeah let's what, see what else i wrote down p.o box so yeah the entire season uh, three is probably gonna have to do with figuring out why it is somebody mailed a corpse to the united states and like from where and <laughs> the whole body and... oh god wouldn't it be amazing they find the guy and it's jean claude van, <laughs> van damme that'd be fucking amazing <laughs> god what a dumb show <laughs> and it's it's not jean claude van damme playing a character yeah it is jean claude van damme i love it <laughs> i love it Ugh. And the end of this, so like, God, it was, it was just, it was just like more lazy, stupid writing. Mary, I, I forget how Mary, uh, that was confusing to me too. But um, so Mary is there and she's like going to kill Davos. Um, And, and then, then they get into a fight with Danny. so stupid. That's, the, had- that's exactly the kind of cheap fucking writing that is in that is all over this series which is why i hate it because it is just tedious i had to back that up and watch that again because i was like why why are they well, yeah, fighting? why is he why is danny fighting mary why is this aren't they kind of on the same because everybody hates davos right everybody's pissed at davos you use your use your cell phone as a strobe light yeah oh god oh my god and she just like flicks it back and forth <laughs> i hate this show that I just fucking hate it. It's so tedious. God damn it. <laughs> it's the laziest, the laziest thing in the world. It would have been, I mean, like, yeah, okay. So he goes up and he hits the, the water. Wouldn't it have been just better if, if she kind of like gets distracted by the water, then she zones out and then it's Mary. Yeah. And it's not like, yeah, get out your cell phone. Yeah. Or he also, just uses we, that time while she's distracted to go fucking get Davos right away. Like, fuck it. I bought myself at least a few seconds here. <laughs> Let me go put his ass down so we can complete dragon transfer. Like, but yeah. but the show su- the show sucks and it's lazy and it's yeah. And so you have to sit through the whole thing. You have to sit through the whole scene. To get to the end. <laughs> and we're better for it. I guess I guess we are. I guess we But how did Mary I I was confused. She shows up somewhere. She she shows up at Joy's? Is that what happens? Yep. Yes, that happens. And she's like cryptic nonsense, whatever bullshit. And I guess she's sticking around. I wasn't quite I didn't quite understand. Yeah. She, <laughs> she's like, here's your money. We're done. Yeah. Right? Now you can go away. And she's like, 
There was actually one line that I liked in that. Yeah. But and it it was just that I thought Eve Alice uh through the I mean like she's doing a fine job with what she's given. Sure. But her character is hard to stupid. figure. Stupid. <laughs> it's a stupid character. So so she uh whatever. Joy says something like, you know, we're done, whatever. And and you're gonna leave and all that other stuff, because I just wanna have a normal life. And at some point she says a line that's like, That's what I like about you. Your sense of humor. Oh, and just fucking, and there, I don't remember. something about how she delivered it was just like, eh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. And I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's good. No. But it's cute. It works for me. But she's gonna stay. And do we know why? Because reasons. Okay. <laughs> Is it any worse than Joy's motivation through most everything that she does? Well, I understand it because, right, because, right, like I can put that into words at least. Because, um, like, Ward and Danny knew her dad was alive and they didn't tell her. <laughs> so that's why she wants to kill Danny. <laughs> And never speak to Ward again. Is that? I mean, you know, it's asinine, but <laughs> I can. I guess. I can. At least I guess put we've it all met. Words, I think so. we've all met a woman like that. Sure. You knew that Who's my gonna... dead father was really my zombie dad was actually alive, and you didn't tell me because he was crazy, and I'm mad at you about that. <laughs> so, so you're gonna twist the knife? Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> god this is the dumbest show like i thought like when davos pushed her off the fucking rail it was like oh my god what if they killed her i know they won't and then they did it i did think at after that particularly when she's laying in a pool of her own blood yeah it's like come what on a remarkably egalitarian show <laughs> that's willing to show violence against women because like <laughs> we still shy away from it because of course there's no reason to hit a woman. Oh, Tactic Angel, I think this is your social justice warrior crap coming out. I don't no, understand what, what, what it is. you are saying, but <laughs> what it is, what it is, is um, the Bill Burr stuff coming out. Uh huh. It's even worse. Okay. <laughs> Just madness, fucking insanity. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I appreciate that. Treat everybody the same. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. Oh, man. Not a progressive fucking show. Uh, yeah, BB's dead, right? The kid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did die. Oh, yeah. They did kill somebody. It was, like, marginally important, I guess, to the plot. That's something. Somebody cared about him. Yeah. Somebody did. And they were like, oh, that's sad. Uh... So that, well, you know. it was like you knew it was going to happen. Yeah. And also, when that kid gets stabbed, like the framing of the shot is so bad <laughs> that I laughed a little bit. Oh, okay. Because it's like you needed to be closer because I can see almost all of his chest, right? Yeah. So he, I guess he got stabbed an inch under the camera line. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. And he just, he makes the, the face. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. Act, act as though you've been stabbed in the gut and go. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure, buddy. I don't see an Oscar in your future. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of competition on the show for that. So, you know, not a lot anyway. So that happened. There's a fight. Yeah. At that place, she beats up a whole bunch of people. One of them had a tennis ball that was connected to a a, a length of plastic chain. That's, Did you see that? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> it was cool until he smacked the hood of the yeah the hood of the vehicle and yeah. it did nothing to it. Yeah, like, Just bounced off. That's a tennis ball and a plastic chain. Yep. That's you can't fool me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Iron Fist, man. Daredevil season three, less than a month. Tactic Angel. 
less than a month from now. Uh, I don't know if I can take it. I know. Does that mean the Punisher wasn't this year, was it? It was last year. Okay. But like Jessica Jones, that was this year? Season two? Fuck, man. And Cage and Iron Fist and now Daredevil. My God. That is maybe too much content. But <laughs> well, if everything was at least as good as, or if everything was like Daredevil quality, Daredevil or Punisher amazing. quality, yeah, <laughs> then there'd be no reason to complain about it. Yeah. But the thing is that we force ourselves through this awfulness. Yeah. Yeah. And I just <laughs> I mean, at least we're not watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's true. Good Lord. There are far worse things. Yeah. So. I mean, it makes me sad to say it, but Supergirl. Or probably, Arrow. Yeah. Or The Flash. Supergirl. <laughs> I want you that. said you liked that. I do, and I still like it. But not for any good reasons. <laughs> I don't know. It's. I I tried. I think I've gotten through three or five episodes. It is, and it's a, like, uh, it is a chore to get it through. It is not good. <laughs> but if then I hear about your brother excited, one like, more I fucking know. time. I know. But then they do things that make me excited, like like Bruce Boxleitner, man. Bruce Boxleitner in season four. I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> but yeah, in season two. Dean Cain, Terry Hatcher, Kevin Sorbo. How is that not amazing? Well, watch Supergirl season two and find out how they so fuck that. Up. So what is <laughs> Sheridan doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll to find you out. know, the weird thing is I go over to my mother's house sometimes and she's watching fucking lifetime or hallmark channel or something yeah. box lightner is on a lot of those oh really oh that's yeah interesting. Huh. no it's not it's <laughs> awful it's, it's really depressing uh, like, and then when you think like the other people that i like from that show are dead <laughs> yeah that's really sad that's really sad uh, anyway iron fist i guess I think they were talking about rebooting that show too. Babylon Five. Yeah. Well, I think I've I've heard that a couple times. I think that's always been like a rumor. I don't think you can, think you can do it. It probably won't happen if they do. <laughs> Why don't we ask season one and season five? Well, um, here's I have an idea. Why don't we just start over and try not to follow? the shadow war come up with some other reason yeah to, to have the show yeah i don't know if you're gonna get somebody who can play a better londo no um and i'm fairly certain you're not gonna find somebody who's gonna play a better jacar no. <laughs> and those two those two really did make yes they made the show i love claudia christian yeah hell yeah um but andreas Katsulis just just knocked it out of the park with yeah. Jakar. Yeah. And always so angry. And I still liked him. And like then strangely thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then and then vindictive. And for some yep. reason he could vacillate between these ideas. He could. And it and it didn't seem like this character is all over the yeah, place. Yeah, no, he seemed completely consistent. Um, I think it's because you kind of knew where he was coming from. He's kind of a self-centered fucking prick. Um, well, he's kind of and... like a Bajoran who doesn't take it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we have now three Star Trek references. Yay, today. Star Trek. And we're and we're talking about Babylon 5 in the Iron Fist review. Yep. Well, these are all better shows. So, <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe for season five. Yeah. Well, God damn. Oh, that's a tough question. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Season oh, five. Well, I hope that's on the 
the recording. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Shit. It's okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is a professional show. There is something that I need to update on my computer. Oh, great. Well, do we have to end this episode before it fucking... <laughs> No, no, it's not that important. Okay. It, that's why it made that noise. Oh. Just to make okay. sure you're But aware. anyway, we are going to end the episode, I think, because we're not talking about anything. No, no. Iron Fist is crap. That's it. <laughs> uh, it, it certainly has been worse. It was an improvement. Hi, it was an improvement over, yeah. over previous Iron Fists. And sure. I think I found this one to be less aggravating than... than uh, Luke Cage season two. Nope. I hate this way more. I hate this way more. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Anyway, uh, we can disagree. It doesn't matter. I suppose it's okay. I suppose it's uh, that's okay. I, I'm not real sure that either one of us are going to claim that the, the show (laughs) that we say is better is any good. (laughs) No, But anyway, that has been episode number 66 of the Wednesday Night Gentlemen Multimedia Empire official podcast. Please give us a like if you've enjoyed this video or subscribe to our channel. You can find us on all sorts of things like Podbeam, BitChute, YouTube. We're on the Twitter where we are at WNG underscore MME underscore OPC or head on over to Facebook where we are simply the Wednesday Night Gentlemen. Thank you everyone for listening and we will see you again on episode number 67 of this podcast. Bye-bye.